Okay, welcome to part four of our GUI dictionary lesson. And in this one, we're gonna actually learn how to go from our GUI, and I'm gonna click on the cure, and it's gonna tell me the album up here in our label. Um, so just to review, what we have is we have a uh, basic GUI, we have a label, text entry widget, we've got a list box and a button. So if I click show all, it shows all of the keys, so all of the artists in the dictionary. So what we want to do is I want to be able to click Bob Mold, click a button, and it's going to tell me Black Sheets of Rain. So obviously the first thing we need to do is to add the button that does that. Okay, so um, again, uh, thinking about input and output. So we basically have to get this key, so when I click it, I have to get the key, which is the cure in this case, or the Smiths in that case, and I use that key to update this label. So that is our output. So let's close that and go from there. Okay, so the first thing is we need to add a nice little button. Um, now, probably the easiest way is to just copy and paste and just make the changes. So this is, we're going to call this show one. Show one. Just got to make sure you change it in every place so nothing, nothing bad happens. Show one. If I run this, we're going to get an error. It's going to say name show one is not defined. So show one, show one, show one. So it's because we have a command here, show one. We haven't defined the function yet. So I'll need to do that. So, so define show one, pass, and run in terminal. And now it works. Okay, now if I Click show all, show one, nothing happens because we haven't programmed it, but we just verify that everything's still working. Okay, so what we need to do at this point is we need to get the artist. Because with the artist, we can get the album and then we can display that information. So artist equals, and this is a list box method. So our list box is called music. Okay, so we got LB music. And what we need to do is call get active. And what that does is whatever is clicked is considered the active item. So if I click Bob Mole, that is the active item. So now my now artist equals whatever I've clicked. Okay. So now the album, and this is just dictionary stuff, this isn't GUI stuff, equals albums. So that's the name of my dictionary artist. So now I've got my artist and my album. So I'm going to say message equals artist plus, this is just a print statement. You can format it however you want. Album plus. Okay. And then we got to get this variable. This is a string. So we got to get this message into the label. And we do that by label output. So that's the name of it from here. And with labels, we use text equals message, or MSG in this case. Okay, So we get the artist by getting the active I guess, line that's been clicked in our list box. Our album comes from our dictionary. So the artist is the key. So albums, artist. So a message, we just format it here and we add that into our label. So if I run that, try it out. So if I hit show all, let's move that over here so we can kind of see the code as it, what the code does. Now I click Bob Mold, so that is artist, because list box music get active. This is active because I just clicked it. And I'm gonna click show one. So the album is album's artist, so Bob Mold's album. The message equals artist plus space colon space plus the album. And then I actually put that information into the label. And that is all.